caught on camera a confrontation between Portland police and a 16 year old in which the teenager is tased and arrested. This happened early Sunday morning in St. John's. The witness video is really circulating quickly on social media. These officers were responding, they say, to numerous 911 calls about property damage, even threats to shoot someone in that area. Now, the police found a group that matched the descriptions, and when they tried to put the teen in handcuffs, they say he began to resist. Amy Frazier takes it from here. How are police responding to this video as everyone watches it? Well, Jeff, right now police are asking everyone really to take a look at the whole picture in this case. Today they released the 911 calls and all the police reports from that night. At the same time, though, the teen's brother tells me that officers were completely out of line in tasing his 16 year old brother. What did my little brother do? This is one of the witness videos on Facebook that has some community members outraged. Why y'all Why y'all doing that? It shows the moments just after midnight Sunday in St. John's when Portland police restrained and then tased a 16 year old Roosevelt High School student. Today, I spoke with the teen's 20 year old brother, Giovanni Gunale, who was also arrested, accused of interfering with police. What do you think about what happened? What I think is ridiculous, it's disrespectful, it hurts for an older brother to see his little brother get thrown like that by police officers. Not only that, they taste him, a 16-year-old kid. So I went to talk with Portland police to find out more. Officers tell me neighbors called 911 reporting vandalism. Here are two of those calls. Yes, they popped the tire, they were kicking the car. There a bunch of guys. And I had some little decorative fencing around a tree. They ripped it up. Police say responding officers questioned a group of people, including the 16 year old. Uh, he fought with the officers. Uh, in one scene, he's got his arm around the officer's head, one of the female officers choking her. Um, ultimately, the taser was used, and one cycle was enough to get him to stop fighting. At this point, does the Bureau stand behind the decisions that the officers made? Well, at this point, there's no reason not to. The teen's brother tells me they were not a part of the vandalism. He says they were on their way from the skate park to Safeway to meet their mom when they were stopped by police. Then I looked over, answered a question, I looked back, my little brother's getting ragdolled. Now, I asked the brother today how the teen is doing. I'm told he's with his mother and he's doing okay. Some charges against that teen include disorderly conduct, assaulting a, a peace officer, and attempted strangulation. Police tell me all cases involving an officer using physical force are reviewed by a supervisor. Chief Mike Reese has also asked that the Professional Standards Division review this entire incident. Jeff? And keep us